We're only four weeks into the season, and COVID-19 has already postponed the game. This ain't looking too good. What's going on, everybody? We are back from the episode. Today, we are doing my week five season predictions. Uh, last week, I went 11 and 4, so not too bad, not too good. But uh, hoping to go, like, I don't know, 15 and 0 this week. Who knows? But uh, yeah, let's get into the predictions. Before we get into the rest of the video, there's a stat on YouTube that says that about 87.6% of you guys are not subscribed. So if that's you, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get into the rest of the video. Starting it off, Chiefs Raiders. I'm going Chiefs. Chiefs are. The most dominant team in the league right now. Uh, there's no doubt. So, yeah, they're taking the first dub. Next, we have Broncos, Patriots. I'm going Patriots. Broncos do not have Drew Locke, and I feel like that's a big blow to them. So, I'm going Patriots. Uh, Bengals, Ravens. I'm going to go Ravens. Should I go Bengals? No, no. We're going Ravens. The Ravens are still a dominant team. They lost the Chiefs last week, week before. A uh, week before, I think. But they're still a pretty dominant team, so I think they're going to win this game. Jaguars, Texans. I think the Texans are going to get their first dub here against the Jaguars. If they don't, that's crazy because they did just fire Bill O'Brien. So hopefully they can take the dub here. Next, we have Titans and Bills. A lot of people are probably going to say Bills. I'm going to go Titans. I feel like they're coming off a week of rest, and if this game happens, if it actually occurs, then I, th I think the Titans are going to win. I think the Bills have been on a hot streak. I think they're going to take their first loss here, and I think Titans are going to go 4-0, start the season. On Sunday night, we have Colts and Browns. Now, the Browns put off a spectacular performance against the Cowboys, beating them big score to big score. That's what I remember. But I think I'm going to go Colts here. I don't think the Browns are just some, wow, we're actually a good team. I don't, I don't think they are. I think, I think the Colts are the better team here, so I'm going Colts. Next, we have Cardinals-Jets. Definitely going Cardinals here. Um, I know they lost to the Panthers last week. They lost to the Lions the week before. But I, I think they're just having some problems. I think they're going to get it. It's, it's the Jets. I think they're going to take the dub here. Next, we have Eagles-Steelers. This one, I'm going Steelers. The Eagles did just beat the Niners, but I think the Steelers are the better team by a long shot, so I'm going to go Steelers. 49ers, Dolphins. I'm going 49ers. This is a game that's going to be a tough game unless Jimmy G's playing. If Jimmy G's playing, uh, George Kittle, we already got him back. We got Brandon Ayuk, Debo Samuel. I don't think any of our running backs are going to be playing this game, but I think think we're going to take the dub here. We'll see how it goes. Saints Chargers. This one I have a sneaky suspicion about. I think the Chargers might get a dub here. It's a sneaky suspicion, but I think the Chargers are going to get a dub here. Here's, here's my thinking. Chargers went up against the Chiefs. Lost in overtime. Okay. Chiefs are the most dominant team in football. They lost in overtime. They played against the Buccaneers. They lost by what? Like one score? Like it was a one score game. And I think the Buccaneers and Chiefs are on top of the Saints right now. I think the Chargers could be a actually good team. They've had a really tough schedule to start it off. I think they're going to take the dub here. Into the NFC games, we have Bears, Buccaneers, definitely going Buccaneers here. Bears started off 3-0 and and I think they're going to lose two straight. I don't think the Bears are actually a good team. Falcons, Panthers. I'm going to do it. I'm going to pick the Falcons again. I don't think the Panthers are better than the Falcons. I don't. There's no way. So I'm going Falcons. Washington football team, Rams. Definitely own Rams here. Rams starting off season fairly strong, and the f football team started off strong first game and then has gone downhill along with the entire NFC East because the number one team is 1-3-1. One, and one. And the rest are 1, 3, 1, 4, 0, oh, and 4. Like, wow. But, uh, yeah, I think the Rams are going to take it up here. Cowboys, Giants, I'm going Cowboys. I think that the Cowboys are the superior team, uh, especially with the Giants without Saquon Barkley. I think they're going to take the dub here. Seahawks, Vikings, definitely going Seahawks here, superior team. Um, the Vikings did pull off a dub against the Texans. Didn't see that coming. But, um, 
yeah, I don't see them being the Se beating the Seahawks. All right, so we've predicted the week. Uh, let's go over the playoff standings again, as always. Uh, in the AFC, we have the Chiefs at 5-0 and to start the season off, number one. Number two, we have the Titans at 4-0. and Number three, we have the Steelers at 4-0. and And number four, we have the Bills at 4-1. and For the wild card seats, we have the Ravens at 4-1, and the Colts at 4-1, and and the Patriots at 3-2. and In the NFC, we have the Seahawks at the number one spot at 5-0. and Number two spot, we have the Packers 4-0. Number three spot, Buccaneers 4-1. and Number four spot, Cowboys 2-3. Wow. Number five spot, the Rams at four and one. Number six spot, the Bears at three and two. And number seven spot, the Cardinals at three and two. So that is my predictions for week five. Comment down below. What do you think? Any games you would change? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoy the episode. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.